stars with nifty names and a comet alert. Hey there, stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer for the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Alberry, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. And I'm Marlene Hidalgo, science teacher from Miami-Dade County, Florida. Every March, we like to tell you about three of our favorite stars because they're so easy to find in the evening skies. Let's show you. Okay, we've got our skies set up for any night this month in early evening. Face south and look carefully for three stars that appear to be equally spaced and lined up in a row. They're easy to find because they're the only three such equally spaced stars visible to the naked eye. Now, for thousands of years in many cultures, these three stars have been seen either as the waist or belt of a great sky giant, usually male but sometimes female. Two bright stars above these three mark the giant's shoulders, and the two bright stars below mark the giant's knees. And although this cosmic giant has been called many names throughout history, the name we use today is Orion, who was a giant warrior hunter in ancient Greek and Roman mythology. His three belt stars fascinate me for two reasons. One, because they are the only equally spaced stars you can see with the naked eye. And two, for some reason I just love the sound of their names. Aonatak, Aonalam, and Metaka. Now, according to some sources, the name Alnilam comes from the Arabic and means string of pearls, which can also refer to all three stars. Alnatak means girdle and Mintaka means belt. But no matter what they mean, I just love to pronounce their names. Alnatak, Alnilam, Mintaka. They sound so poetic, don't they? The 19th century poet Alfred Lord Tennyson wrote, those three stars of the airy giant's zone that glitter burnished by the frosty dark. But in addition to their poetic beauty, their science is equally wonderful, and compared to our sun, they'll take your breath away. While our sun is almost a million miles in diameter, Mintaka is 24 times as wide, and Onatak is a bit larger, 25 times as wide as our sun. While sandwiched between them, Onalam blows both of them away at a whopping 44 times the width of our own sun. Wow! But if that's not enough to impress you, then think about how far away these three are. We measure distance to the stars in terms of the speed of light because the stars are so far away, the term miles is almost useless. Light travels 186,000 miles per second. So we say that our sun is eight and a third light minutes away because it takes eight and a third minutes for light to reach us from our sun. So we actually see our sun as it existed eight and a third minutes ago. The belt stars of Orion, however, are much farther away. Alnatak is 826 light years away, Mintaka 919, and Alnalam 1,359 light years away, which means that it takes about 1,000 years for their light to reach us. So when we look at Alnatak, Alnalam, and Mintaka, we're seeing them not as they exist now, but as they existed 1,000 years ago. Now for something which is happening right now. This Sunday, March 10th, comet PANSTARS 2011L4 is going to come closest to the Sun in its orbit. And for the next few days afterwards, it may put on a spectacular show in the western sky after sunset. Here's what the comet is expected to do. March 8th, March 9th, March 10th, 11th. On the 12th, here comes a skinny crescent moon into the picture. The next night, the 13th, the moon is 13 degrees higher and may appear to be in the tail of the comet but really the moon is much closer to us than the 14th, the 15th, and so on. We feel very confident that this is where the comet is going to be in the sky on those nights, but exactly how bright it'll be is still up in the air. We really can't tell what will happen with this comet, so check with our website, stargazersonline.org, for the latest info. If PanStars puts on a grand show, remember, you heard about it here. But if it doesn't, you still have Alnatak, Alnalam, and Mintaka. Three more good reasons to keep, keep looking, looking up. up.